4. Laundromat. Laundromats are one of the most popular self-service businesses. Laundromats, for example, have a high success rate. This is one of the most important aspects of choosing a business for a new business owner. While startup costs are higher than for other businesses, many laundromat owners begin by purchasing an existing location. This allows them to dip their toes into the water with a business that is already up and running and hopefully profitable. If you have the capital to invest in a physical location as well as the necessary equipment, opening a laundromat could be a good fit for you. Because of the, you may also be able to obtain a business loan for a laundromat. Pros of owning a laundromat. High business success rate. High return on investment, ROI. An essential service business, meaning consistent revenue. Straightforward business model. Only equipment required is washers, dryers, and utility hookups. Cons of owning a laundromat. High startup costs. Potential equipment failures and expensive repairs. Competitive industry. Vandalism or unruly customers. 5. Storage facilities. Owning a storage facility can be a low-maintenance, high-profit venture. In general, you can buy an existing storage facility or buy land to build your own. Those interested in purchasing an existing storage facility should inquire about the business's profitability. For example, you could inquire with the current owner about how many units are currently rented and what the current monthly rental rate is. Purchasing land to construct your own storage facility may be less expensive than you believe. Many self-storage facilities are bare-bones structures with no lights or electricity in each unit. As a result, you'll only have to pay for the main structure to get started. However, it's critical to choose a location that has the potential to be competitive, taking into account factors such as the size of the town or city and how far your storage units are from residential areas. You may want to require your tenants to purchase insurance for their belongings as a self-storage owner. Some storage unit owners supplement their income by becoming licensed to sell storage unit insurance. Pros of a storage unit business. Hands-off business model. Storage units are consistently in demand. High profit margins if units are rented out. Low upkeep needs and costs. Cons of a storage unit business. Higher initial startup costs. Potential tenant issues, such as non-payment or vandalism. Expensive in competitive markets. May not be able to rent out most units. 6. Digital product sales. With so much time spent online, it's no surprise that there's a whole industry dedicated to digital goods. Digital products are any type of product that is created and sold digitally. There is no product to store, ship, or manage. Typical digital products include ebooks. Social media templates and website templates are examples of online templates. Downloads of digital music. Online classes. Artwork that can be printed. Digital products can take some time to sell, but the incredibly low cost of entry makes it a great business that runs itself. You can sell your digital product over and over without doing any additional work once you've created it. For example, you might create a digital drawing that customers can purchase and print as wall art for their homes. You don't have to start from scratch every time you want to sell your artwork, unlike with a physical art print. Instead, you can sell your artwork to an unlimited number of people. Many digital sellers list their products on platforms like Etsy, but you can also sell your goods on your own website. Pros of Digital Product Sales no inventory issues. Low startup costs. No shipping or warehousing costs. Unlimited sales potential for each product. Cons of digital product sales. Lower profit margins. Competitive selling market. Potential for copyright issues, if you accidentally use someone else's work or someone steals your work. 7. Blogging businesses that run themselves. Blogging was most likely one of the first ways people made money on the internet. From lifestyle bloggers to business advice columns, bloggers discovered that they could monetize their website traffic. Fortunately for you, blogging is still a lucrative way to start a business. Ads can be used to generate revenue on your website. However, most people will not make a fortune by running ads on their website because it usually requires a lot of traffic. Affiliate marketing, on the other hand, is a tried and true way to make money blogging. It works by placing a tracked link to another website on your website. If a reader clicks on the link and makes a purchase on the second site, your account will be credited, usually as a percentage of the purchase price. For instance, suppose you write a blog about the best car seats for new parents. 
you include a link in the blog to an Amazon page that sells one of the recommended seats. So, a reader clicks on your link and purchases something from Amazon. Amazon will then compensate you for directing customers to their website. While startup costs are low for blogging, you will have to commit time to write and edit blog posts. This can be done by writing them yourself or outsourcing your posts to freelance writers. It's also a best practice to be transparent with your readers. You want to tell them that you may receive a kickback if they purchase something you recommend on your site. Pros of a blogging business Low startup costs High profit potential Almost no ongoing maintenance costs Builds a community of repeat readers and potentially sales Cons of a blogging business High amount of ongoing work e.g. writing new posts, researching products and services to recommend, marketing your blog to new readers. Competitive market. You need a large following and lots of traffic to make significant money. 8. Billboards and outdoor advertising. Consider the last time you drove down a highway. You most likely saw a series of billboards. Businesses pay a lot of money to have their message and brand displayed on billboards and you have the opportunity to own prime advertising real estate. To begin a billboard business, you must either purchase an existing billboard or construct your own. If you want to put up your own billboard, you must own the land or find a landowner willing to rent you the space. When the billboard structure is completed, you begin looking for clients. Billboards typically generate revenue by renting advertising space to businesses. The company pays you a monthly or annual fee to display its message on the billboard. Even in rural areas with little traffic, having a few billboards to rent out can earn you a lot of money. However, there are certain legal requirements that must be met before erecting a billboard. In Iowa, for example, billboards are not permitted along scenic byways. Check state and federal laws before attempting to construct a billboard, even if it is on your own property. Pros of renting out billboards. Mostly hands-off business. Easy to start small and increase business with more billboards. High profit potential. Cons of renting out billboards. Lots of competition. Potentially high startup costs. Government regulations and local restrictions. Ongoing maintenance of physical property. 9. Property rentals. We've already discussed how you can rent out party supplies like furniture and decorations as a hands-off business. However, there are numerous other types of property that can be rented. We'll look at two major categories. Property investment. Physical items. Long-term rentals in real estate are not limited to apartment complexes. Many people are succeeding and profiting from short-term vacation rentals. Large groups, for example, often prefer to stay in an Airbnb or VRBO rental rather than separate hotel rooms when on vacation. You can rent out extra space in your home or an existing vacation property to vacationers if you have some extra space. However, be aware that many local and state governments are restricting short-term rentals. This is especially true in resort areas or areas with high living costs. There is less housing available for local workers as more vacation rentals appear. In Denver, for example, property owners must adhere to strict guidelines when renting out their space to short-term visitors. This includes obtaining a license and only renting out primary residences. If real estate is too expensive, you can rent out physical goods such as power equipment, clothing, or camping equipment. Advantages of a rental business It's simple to start with what you've got, such as starting a clothing rental business or renting out your spare room. Profitability is very high. Possibility of repeat customers Cons of running a rental business The initial costs of renting out real estate are high. It takes time to maintain, inspect, and repair equipment or real estate. Hands-on in comparison to other types of businesses. Begin earning passive income with self-running businesses. Starting a business is a rewarding and profitable venture. Even better if you can start one that mostly looks after itself. When deciding what type of business to start, you want to make sure you're making the right decision. While it is acceptable to make mistakes when starting a business, you should try to minimize the cost of those mistakes. Before you start a self-running business, make sure you do your homework. A little research ahead of time could save you a lot of time and money later on. Get the brilliant. Have you considered starting your own business but are concerned about the amount of work involved? If that's the case, you're in luck. There are businesses that run themselves over time with some initial effort. 
Self-employment businesses range from physical property rentals to digital product sales. That means there is most likely a business that will work for you. Let's get started and see why you might want to start a business that doesn't require all of the time and effort that a regular business does, as well as what it will take to get it started. Then we'll go over some self-running business ideas that you can use to start your own small business. Why choose a business that runs itself? The main advantage of a self-running business is passive income. Passive income is defined as money earned while not actively seeking it. For example, if you deposit $500 in a savings account and earn $10 in interest over the course of a year, you have earned $10 in passive income. A passive income stream is an excellent way to earn a little extra money, or a lot. Furthermore, passive income can help you accumulate wealth. This could help you pay down debt, save more money, or pay for things you want, such as a luxurious vacation. You create generational wealth for your children and other descendants by establishing a well-maintained income stream. Finally, this may assist them in maintaining a certain lifestyle while pursuing their passions or starting out on their own. However, passive income streams frequently necessitate some initial effort. Many types of passive income, including many self-running businesses, require ongoing maintenance. Laying the groundwork for self-running businesses. You must first lay the groundwork for this type of business. Almost every self-sustaining business does not begin in this manner. Consider how much time, money, and effort you're willing to invest if you're serious about starting and running a business. A self-sustaining business still requires your assistance in two ways. Starting out, startup costs and sweat equity. Maintenance that is ongoing. Sweat equity and startup costs. One of the primary reasons people do not start their own businesses is the amount of time and money required. While some businesses are less expensive and labor-intensive to start, others require a significant amount of effort to even get started. For a business to run itself, you must first lay a solid foundation. As a result, a significant initial investment may be required. Some self-running businesses require a significant investment to get started. Others will expect you to put in a lot of effort physically running the business. The most profitable ones frequently require both. Fortunately, once you've made the initial investment, many self-sustaining businesses won't take up much of your time. Maintenance that is ongoing. So you've got your company up and running. Isn't it time to sit back, forget about it, and cash in? No, not exactly. Even a truly self-sufficient business will require maintenance or management from time to time, such as cleaning and upkeep of physical locations, record keeping and bookkeeping, setting and monitoring small business objectives, developing new products or services, customer management, administrative requirements, advertising and marketing. The good news is you don't necessarily have to do all of these tasks by yourself. Many business owners outsource these tasks and simply pay someone else to take care of them. Nine types of businesses that run themselves. You've probably realized how much effort it will take to get your business off the ground and keep it running, mostly, on its own. But first, let's take a look at the various types of self-running businesses. Self-sustaining businesses generally fall into one of four categories. Online purchases. Services of a physical nature. Businesses that rely on rentals. Advertising and affiliate marketing. Each category has advantages and disadvantages, and the initial cost and effort required for each can differ. For example, owning a physical business location will almost certainly cost more than starting an online business. Now, let's look at some examples of self-running businesses so you can start planning your next venture. 1. Vending machines and ATMs. Did you know that many vending machines and ATMs are owned and operated independently? Businesses such as supermarkets, hotels, and restaurants charge vending machine and ATM owners a fee to place their machines on their property. The money earned from selling products, vending machines, or fees paid by users, ATMs, is then collected by the machine's owner. You'll need to find and purchase your machines to start this type of business. This could cost several thousand dollars depending on the type of business you start and how many locations you want to have. Then. Look for businesses or other community locations where you can set up your machines. After you've installed your machines, you'll need to keep them stocked and ready for customers. As a result, as customers use your machines, you will profit from each sale or transaction. If you're in a high traffic area, you could make a lot of money quickly. Advantages of starting a vending machine or ATM business. Buying used equipment could result in a low startup cost. 
Start small to minimize risk. With more machines, it is simple to expand. Ability to tailor product options to your market. The disadvantages of running a vending machine or ATM business include Machine inspection takes time. Costs of restocking, such as vending machine products. Potential technical issues. Security issues of theft or vandalism. 2. Party rentals. Have you ever hosted a large gathering or party? Perhaps you rented linens for your wedding, or perhaps a friend rented a bounce house for their child's birthday party. A rental company was behind these party rentals. You can also turn a party rental business into a self-sustaining one by outsourcing some of the physical labor. You'll want to select a rental business that will be profitable. That means looking for rentals that are in high demand, or will be in the near future. Among the many viable options are audio or video equipment, theatrical elements and dance floors, drapery and linens, tables, chairs, and other pieces of furniture. Bounce houses and photo booths are examples of entertainment equipment, tableware and decorations. Your budget may dictate the type of party rental equipment you should purchase for your company. If you have some extra cash, you could, for example, invest in expensive audio and visual equipment. On the other hand, it may be less expensive to begin by renting tableware, which is frequently purchased in bulk at a discount. Advantages of a party rental company Profits from selling equipment are higher because you only buy it once. Possibility of repeat customers Opportunities for additional services, such as setup and takedown Cons of running a party rental company Cost of damage and theft Physical products require hands-on management including customer pickup or drop-off and inspecting items upon return. 3. Print-on-demand shop. Do you have a creative eye? A print-on-demand business could be ideal for you. Print-on-demand companies print your designs on t-shirts, mugs, and other items in single orders. Unlike going to a print shop and ordering in bulk, print-on-demand allows you to print items only when customers order them. One of the best aspects of print-on-demand is how hands-off it is for you. You upload your design, select the products to be printed on, and wait for customers to place orders. Printing, fulfillment, and shipping are all handled by the printing company. Assume you own a print-on-demand t-shirt company. You select a print-on-demand printing company, upload your designs, and link them to your website. When a customer purchases a t-shirt from your website, the order is received and processed by the printing company. Your customer receives a fantastic shirt, and you profit from the sale usually after deducting the cost of the shirt and the printing company's fees. A print-on-demand business does not even require you to be a great graphic designer. There are several print-on-demand companies that provide free and sell graphics that you can add to your store's items. Pros of a print-on-demand business Low startup costs. Besides a website or listing fees, you'll only pay when a customer makes a purchase. Easy setup. Choose a few designs and go. Low time commitment. Cons of a print-on-demand business Lower profit margins after the cost of items and printing company fees You have lower quality control, and most print-on-demand printers don't accept returns. Potential for printer delays or low product availability